Bridge. Just outside Pateley Bridge. And we're with the cat. We're with the. We're with Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to just let you know a little bit about this place and how it came about. So Caroline, how did Top Gate Bar Cafe come about, and what's it all about, and what can you get here? The smell of bacon is amazing here for starters. So, um, well, we decided to open the cafe because of Coldstone Cut because we've got lots and lots of uh, visitors up there, and um, so we. I decided it'd be a good idea because there were that many people that if we gave them all a cup of coffee and they need a toilet break and farming isn't just at its best so we decided we'd take a big gamble and open the cafe. So was it just literally an old farm that you've converted? Um, because it's beautiful in here. It was um, family and friends all helped us and it took us nine months to convert it from having cows in here, pigs in here, turkeys so, um, yeah, they were a, a big family effort and friends. They all helped. And obviously, Christopher did most of the work. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah but we did. You still got pigs in it! Pigs on the other night! <laughs> so, um, we've got, would you like to introduce yourselves? Because I understand that you come here quite a lot. Yes, we're, all uh, of we're you. from. We live up, up the road, and uh, it's very convenient to come for, like we're doing now, for a bacon butty. For two eggs, please, this morning. I like my bacon done quite well. All oh, right, okay. Right. And yes, it's you very mean as usual? Place. And as usual, yeah, that's <laughs> right, yeah. I do come here quite regularly then. Yes, yes, a couple of times a week, don't we? we do. Yeah. And it's a place where we meet friends as well, and uh, most of the other customers have become friends. Caroline's a bit of a character, isn't she? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it has been known. You could say that. <laughs> Beans don't. <laughs> Like, we need characters, and she's one of the best. Oh, yeah. uh, Caroline, I understand that um, you've been mixing with celebrities. Yeah, I've had um, a little touch of um, Gino's leg. You've had a touch of Gino's leg. This is Gino De Campo. Now, Caroline actually gave Gino De Campo a Yorkshire language test. So what, what kind of things were you getting him to say? Um, put wood in oil. Put wood in oil. And he hadn't got a clue what that meant. But Did you all know what that means? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, it was a good laugh. Um, what we thought was he needed to know some Yorkshire stuff. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he found out some Yorkshire stuff. A tour de Yorkshire came past here and up Greenhow Hill. So you must get a lot of cyclists coming in here as well. Um, yeah, we do. We get... Um, yeah, what? Well, because obviously yeah, Greenow Hill is a challenge. Just a bit. Um, so it's um, who's the fittest to get up here? <laughs> and obviously we've got um, one guy come and he's Poached Egg Man, so he's been coming for poached, years. Poached Egg Man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> poached Egg Man, so um, he's been coming for uh, a lot of years. And why does he get the name Mr Poached Egg Man? Because he has poached eggs on toast. <laughs> does he have a name? <laughs> Yeah, it's Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously for the cyclists, they're coming here for the coffee and your cakes. Now, I understand your cakes are pretty exceptional. Um, yeah, we um, make all our cakes here. Um, uh, fresh, we um, do a, quite a variety of cakes, yeah. Um, a lot of cyclists do like the um, flapjack, and um, uh, obviously because we're more on the uh, healthy option. What you want, Vince? Full breakfast. Full English. <laughs> I've just taken my liker off. <laughs> Put my bike on the corner. <laughs> we have a breakfast now. <laughs> Don't tell me calories off. <laughs> do, do, do you do a healthy flapjack? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've just got to act like it doesn't go on your hips. <laughs> oh, is that, is that how you get over it? Oh, I can eat this. It's not going to go on there. Oh, That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, you're also doing Sunday lunches too. Yeah, because I want to sell my own lamb from the field, from the farm, because obviously Kira puts a lot of hard work in there now because I'm too busy in here. So Christopher does the farming side and then we're trying to bring the lamb um, from the field onto the plate. Fantastic, right? So, because I mean, fundamentally, you're a working farm here, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think one of the other things which this place is fabulous for is it's a centre for the community. Yeah. We've lost the pub up the road, and this is a fabulous place. Caroline and her staff do wonderful uh, celebrations, whether it's a sad occasion or a happy occasion. <coughs> and we've been party to that, haven't we? Yeah, extremely useful. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous venue. Yeah.
Excellent. Brings well, a lot of locals in. That's what, well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's, yes. That's brilliant. Yes, because you've done some parties over the weekend, haven't you? Yeah, we have, yeah. Um, we had a, a, one of our local gentlemen passed away, so we did a very big funeral uh, tea for him. And then we've had a um, 30th birthday party. Um, so, yeah, so we've had quite a chaotic weekend, but it's been good. But you just don't stop what, with the farming in here. Is it working 24-7 pretty much then? Uh, pretty much so, yeah. And grandmother duties. And yes. grandmother duties, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're also doing a Christmas fundraiser. What's, what's that all about then? You... Well, I invite all the uh, local people. Um, you've got to walk up to Coldstone Cup first for your exercise and then you get your supper and then we um, raise money for the air ambulance. Oh brilliant, when, when do you do that? In between Christmas and New Year. Do you have a date plan for that? Then? Oh, you know? No, it won't yeah. time yet. Music <laughs> locals tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, that's brilliant, well that's great that you're raising for the uh, air ambulance as well. Well so. especially when we're in a, such a remote area. Yes, no, exactly. You never know when you need it. So. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 And we've got our big Christmas tree. Oh, that tree! Well, that is a. Oh. <laughs> you don't have a special Christmas tree. We, we, we might have a bigger. We, we, last year it was 24 foot, but we might oh. we might get a bigger one this year. <laughs> and who, do, who does all the decorating for that then? Me. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand you're a bit of a, an expert on flower arranging as well. Well, I won't say an expert. There's no end to your talents. <laughs> I won't say an expert. I'm um, um, free. Um, free hand at my flower arranging. Um, yeah, so I just get different challenges. I don't know how you fit it all in into it. <laughs> how you do it? You have to be crazy, like, but... <laughs> Describe Caroline in three words. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try to describe in three words. Oh, do I can't. I'm shy. Just, just great fun. Great fun. Oh, yes. Yeah. We need, hear a laugh for miles yes. around, and that's great. Well, so Caroline, what you see is what you get, and that's very rare in, in these days, I can tell you. Yeah. And, and she's a genuine person, real down-to-earth Yorkshire girl. Fantastic. So so for, for the customers that come in here all the time and for people watching this, um, why, should, why do you think people should come here? Uh, wonderful food, of course, a great atmosphere, and you always meet some character. If it's not character. <laughs> 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 it's good standing. <laughs> well, I was one of my first customers, I think. Yeah, you were, yeah. And uh, I've always come in here. I enjoy it, and it's my, one of my places, my, one of my water holes where I come, and then uh, I come in every Sunday from the breakfast. It's a, it's a good breakfast, we've got photos yeah, yeah, of that, yeah. yes. Yeah. We wouldn't think of going anywhere else, it's just absolutely spot on. Well you can't get much better than that, can you? And you can't get much better recommendations yeah. than that, can you? So, well for everybody watching, definitely if you're passing or you're having a day out, because there's stunning views around here, the views from... Topgate Barn are absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for a day out in the countryside and you want a very, very good English breakfast and some right good cake, then uh, <laughs> get yourself to Topgate Barn Cafe. Thank you. Do you want to say okay. bye? Oh, yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> you can't say Siddy. Oh, Siddy. Siddy.